idiocy! It's our third show of the semester, and that's where things get a little weird. <laughs> you might have noticed already. Uh, so this first game is Poets Corner. Hello, my little turtle doves, and welcome to the Poets Corner. Tonight, we will be seeing several acts of intermittent art and music. Tonight with us are the sound making machines. <laughs> I found them when they were babies lying on a case of Coca Cola outside of my work at the factory. <laughs> now, ladies and gentle doves, if tonight you feel that the music and or dance and song is moving, please. Like gentle butterflies beneath your earlobes. Snap gently. Please, no clapping, for it scares the two twin babies on that Coca Cola factory. Now, if this music is so exciting that clapping alone is too much, please let out a gentle. Uva. Uva. Let's. Uva. Now our lovely performers need a very delicate, exciting, mundane, perfect, imperfect suggestion. Please, anything. Apples. Apples. Uva. Uva. I've made at least one soul connection tonight. Now our first performer was born from fire and brimstone 7,000 years ago. His name is Brad. <laughs> Helps me, I fell on the floor. Every day I take in my vitamins. Every day I eat my apples. Well, wasn't that special? <laughs> thank you, thank you, Brad. I felt and soul connection established. Our next performer was once a father before a tragic boating accident took his only kid. Give it up for Salty Dan. <laughs>
walking down the road. What is this in front of me on the ground? Apples. They have fallen from the trees. Like my dreams have fallen since childhood. <laughs> Darkness of lightness, I don't know. But someday one will cut them open, and he will too have to have to have two halves of an apple. <laughs> and he will be able to look inside them and see this, you are a seed of darkness. And this, you are a seed of light. And then they will plant me again into the ground from which I will grow. And again, we'll fall.
one second. No way. No way. No way. Another one of their cows. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I am a giant douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's destroy half their crop without putting on an artful way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, worst nightmares turn into musicals. <laughs> what is this? This breeze flowing between my legs. My God! I'm in my underwear at school. I'm writing you up for that. We're throwing you in jail. <laughs> oh, singing a song of the <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Most ineffective ways to put out a fire. <laughs> Thank God you brought that lighter fluid. <laughs> Damn it, it's not working. Oh, fire. Hey, look at that. What? Oh. <laughs> I always said to fight fire with fire. <laughs> this is just. <laughs> yes. Just one more. Tap it out. Tap it out. Tap it out.
It was poisoned! Chocolate! Amazing! Now what? You You know, there were, there were other avenues for your way. You could have gone to a, a shelter. You could have gone to a, a donation agency. There are people who could have helped. But you didn't take advantage of them, did you? No. Too prideful, Rudy? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Disgraceful. I looked up to you as a kid. I thought you were on the you were on the other side of the bulletproof glass. But now I know that you're the scary guy in the mask. Screaming things. That's what happens when you meet your heroes. <laughs> Science for the deaf. Now, this is an expert in something. What is in he an expert in? Jazzercise. Fire. Jazzercise. And seen it. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Matt's All Over channel. <clears throat> Today we've got a we've got a wonderful guest with us who is who is here to talk about the subject of Jazzercise, and my friends, he is none other than the expert on it. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, guys. I'm Chuck. <laughs> Hi, Chuck. Glad you could join us. Would you care to introduce your friend as well? Yeah, this is my uh, sister, Tiffany. Oh, Tiffany. And tell us, what is Tiffany doing here today? Is she simply... She's uh, helping all the people who have hearing difficulties out there. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's very, very nice. <clears throat> well, on topic. Surely you've heard about the uh, pantomime jazzercise crisis of last year. This was a subject that dominated our, our news feeds and various outlets for information for quite a time. Would you, would you care to share your perspective on the situation? It was actually quite a sad crisis. All the parents across the school and country teaching all these jazzercise classes mm -hmm. just, just stopped. My god. And then there was jazzercise pupils with no one to learn their jazzercise exercises. 
sorry, it still brings tears to my eyes. You know, I, I heard that in the midst of this, there were some new regulations brought on by the, the uh, International Jazzercise Committee, as it was, uh, IJC. Uh, they passed some very, very formal and, and strict jazzercise guidelines. Would you, would you care to share with us if you want to explain them? Uh, the, the IJC is really looking to protect the international corporations of the jazzercisers. Mm -hmm. We want to be protected and recognized as a person, not just necessarily as hobbyists. Exactly. Because because jazzercise is a passion art form, right. and we, we need to be seen as people too. Right. I see. Uh, one more question. Uh, I have heard of some people trying to meld the sports of jazzercise and uh, and karate, as it were. Uh, <laughs> Give us your opinion on this this fusion of, of activities. Um, I'm pretty sure I've seen it. It's called like Crapoera or something. <laughs> <laughs> I see. That's, that's nice. It's not something you want to invest your time in. Uh, duly noted. Thank you. Uh, we do have a, with us today a live studio audience. In a moment, we will open it up for questions from our studio audience. Actual questions from people who are sitting here, so you can ask them. Does it hurt? <laughs> Does it hurt? Does jazzercise hurt? You're doing it right. Which which muscles are supposed to be in pain? What is jazzercise if I incorrectly? Most of them. Ah, good. Okay. Uh, another question. Overall. Yes, you. Have you written any books on it? Have you have you written? Tell us about your if it exists uh, literary catalog on jazzercise. Um, I could show you all the libraries that I read on jazzercise. My mom has a large. Ah, <laughs> she's, I take it she's an archivist. Very nice. Any any more questions? Yes, you. Have there been any serious jazzercise injuries, and could you describe them to us? Have there? <laughs> have there been any serious jazzercise injuries? Ooh, I, I don't I don't know where to begin. I mean, people have torn ligaments after ligaments after Achilles' heel. I mean, there's been multiple concussion after concussion. Uh, people have even lost eyes. But, uh, I mean, it gets intense. But it's horrible to do what you guys do. I believe we have time for one more question from our studio audience. What's the one future more. of jazzercise? I'm sorry, what? What's the future of jazzercise? Thank you, sir. What is the future of this most noble and dignified of sports? <laughs> jazzercise is not just a sport to do keep yourself healthy. It is, it is a way of life. And if you would all like to take a pamphlet before I leave, and you can start dedicating your life to dad's eyes. That's perfect. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much, Chuck and uh, Tiffany. We appreciate you coming today, and thank you for joining us on the Matt Channel. Join us next week for more karate. <laughs> onto every single thing he could, trying to keep himself up, with a ridiculous look of pain and grimace and horror upon his face. <laughs> well, uh, you know, John, uh, you really don't, can't barge in here like this. You gotta have an appointment, but, uh, you're a family friend. I'll take a look at your back. He said, uh, grabbing his good friends and stopping his hobbling, <laughs> filling up and down his back, with a concerned look on his face. Oh, thanks for taking a look, buddy. I feel like I did something wrong when I was trying to fix my car. It hurts something fierce. He said, walking over to the examination table and miming out exactly how he was trying to fix his car, pointing out every single little stupid detail as he was doing it, with a really dumb look in his face like he had absolutely no clue what he was doing and had no business fixing cars in the first place. Well, oh, that, that looks pretty serious, I guess. Uh, why, don't, why don't you take some of these pills and uh, 
I'll, I can, uh, I'll give you a full examination and we'll hopefully figure this out. He said, rolling his eyes, tossing the pills at his friend, and scribbling something down in his prescription pad, wondering why he was ever friends with this man in the first place, and wondering if this man would ever figure out how to do something better with his life, instead of trying to fix cars like a moron. <laughs> oh, thanks. This means a lot to me. You know, I don't have much going on good at home, and, you know, I think you're the only friend I got. <laughs> He said, walking over sheepishly and hobbled to his friend, with unseen tear forming in his left eye, dribbling down his face, but the weight of it was so great that it threw out his back even more. <laughs> you know, John, I just I just hate to see you like this. You know, when your wife and you started fighting. All those times, and I fixed your back after all of those times. <laughs> I just knew it was no good. I'll, you know, you can stay at my place. I'll help you get back on your feet, figuratively, mentally, and literally. <laughs> he said, walking over to uh, the medicine cabinet <laughs> and checking if he had all of the prescriptions filled correctly, wondering if he made the right decision and giving in to his friend's pains. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. You remember the kind of right hook my wife could throw, right? Uh, yes, uh, uh, we're going to do a long form right now. It's different from these little short form games we've been playing. We're going to do our best to not fall off this platform that's currently under construction by the union. <laughs> Alright, um, so, can we get a word for inspiration? Pokemon! Frothy! Don't say frothy. <laughs> <laughs> investment capital. That's a lot of big words, mister. I'm not yes, sure I understand. I think you can go for the stars. You know what? You just have a great day. Here's a nickel. Wow, thanks. You want another cup of lemonade? Nope. <laughs> All right. Cut you back home. Hey. Oh, hey, how's, how's your lemonade stand going? I made five dollars. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's... I only sold one cup, though. Some weird guy just kept giving me money. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you mean people are just giving you so, all this money for this lemonade? Well, just one weird guy, but yeah. <laughs> do you want to make more lemonade, honey? Boy, do I. Let's get started. Oh, cool. Oh. I'll just put this the other sack of money. <laughs> There's more money? Well, yeah, I started the stand last weekend with Dad. Has your father been holding out on money on me again? Well, I don't know. Hey, about honey! That. Hey, Dad. <laughs> Dad, I need five more dollars. Oh, son. You're like an endless Ow. supply of cash. Ow. Fast Ow. cash. I love it. Thank you for your love tax, Dad. <laughs> Hi, dearest. My name is Doris, not dearest. Hi. Hi. Hi, Doris. Hi. Hello, Stanley. Uh, our son's really... Yes, we... Oh. Oh, I'll get it. Oh, gosh. Who is it? I'm gonna if it's flipping yeah. over the... Hello. I, uh, sorry to bother you folks, but... No problem. I'm, uh, I'm from the, uh, Internal Revenue Service. <laughs> Hello? Hi, um... We've been getting a few uh, reports from our field agents recently that there's been uh, quite a lot of cash flow going around business centers here. Yeah, look, I got sacks. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, sweet billfold, my gosh. Yeah, I don't know how she didn't notice earlier. <laughs> That's... 
I assure you, it's just my my son has just started a lemonade stand recently, yeah. and apparently it's cup? taking off. Do you want a cup of lemonade? I would, but only if it's being properly taxed. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> officer of the IRS. Yes, right, definitely. Then, then What's a tax? We, we, we've been taking care of that for him. Ah, oh, good. I, 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 uh, I trust so. Well, in that case, I, I'm sure you wouldn't mind coming to a hearing uh, in uh, two weeks. Not at all. Wonderful. Uh, here's my card. Oh, lovely. I oh, will see you that there. is intimidating looking. Okay. Yes. Oh, my. Yes. I like the is, guns. Is that done? <laughs> oh, my. I'll just put this in. Let's put this away. Yeah, very. Thank you very much. Come to the hearing. It, it seems here as though they've taken in approximately thirteen thousand dollars. On lemonade? Uh, I believe so, unless it's a fuck for a drug company. Uh, <laughs> and it appears as though they paid. Uh, this says here uh, two dollars in taxes. Oh, uh, we weren't allowed to set our own tax. What? <laughs> it's like an adjustable rate mortgage, right? Hey. Yes, except you don't get to adjust it, we do. <laughs> <laughs> well, no one told us. I, I see. Uh, well, uh, it, it appears as though there's a clause in here that that allows you to to uh, eh, hold off on paying taxes. So, so you're in the clear so far, but. We're going to need you to pay approximately uh, 17 grand by the 31st. Oh! Have the lemonade stand. Lemonade, $47. <laughs> lemonade. <laughs> sir, you want to let, okay. Sir, sir, sir. Limeade? Limeade. It's tax deductible. Only two dollars. Oh. Yeah, mine's tax hey, system. Hey, how are you doing? Oh, well, I made a bunch of lemonade today. Who's the prize? <laughs> Did you say tax deductible lemonade? Yes. Here's twenty grand. Oh, oh thank you. Oh. Oh, Wait, well, there's that eight. What? He didn't talk to me this time. He, that was the money guy. From lemonade? Before. Psych! What? Oh, oh. I don't like that person. <laughs> All right, little girl. I'm gonna lay it to you straight. This is our turf. This is my house. I bought this. I paid taxes on this. I continue to pay taxes on this. I will probably pay taxes on this until the day that they put me in the cold, beverageless ground. <laughs> Mr. Smith, sir, um, I'm part of this residential community, and I actually found the bylaws for this area when I got my tax deductible things. So uh, here it says that I can sell publicly on this land. Deed and done. Ah! Oh, Jesus. Always the fight. Cut to a classroom. And so you see, graduate student, the capitalist lemonade limeade wars of 2015 <laughs> are a perfect prime example of how the Internal Revenue Service and the bureaucracy of all of those little things of paying money and garbage like that, it led to quite a tumultuous time. I can't believe that something so insignificant led to our country's demise. <laughs> You'd be surprised the effects of just one little block of just a few kids and one really crazy investment guy <laughs> to completely destroy a country. That is just completely shocking. That's not how it happens. <laughs> oh, wow. oh my god, is that him? Yes. <laughs> yes. He's the original lemonade seller. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, it's not how it happened at all. The IR... Yes. Came and knocking at my family's door, just like you said. Yep. But it wasn't the limeade stand that ran us out of town. Really? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Wait, so there was another key player in this that led to the destruction of our beautiful country? The hot chocolatiers. <laughs> hot chocolatiers? We just rolled around and they just swept us out of the city block. 
Oh, I thought they were a myth. Troubling time. Right. I didn't think so many people would pay for just hot chocolate. But I heard that... <laughs> I heard that this legendary ingredient, pumpkin spice, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like people just go nuts! <laughs> the most basic of ingredients. <laughs> to get him to say something. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> so um, we need like a freeze, um, something to make Luke Jones say. Not okay. dirty. Not too dirty. Those aren't too my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Those aren't my pants. My toilet disintegrated. Toilet disintegrated. My shorts can never be too short. <laughs> <laughs> can you sit on that? Ate my marshmallow. What did you just say, Mara? That squirrel ate my marshmallow. Sure. <laughs> Are there any others? I want to Jones cut my shorts. Do you want to go the snowman? No. Who <laughs> said that? Please leave, sir. Please leave. <laughs> no, but, but really leave. I don't know. The squirrel got my shorts. The squirrel got my shorts. The squirrel got my shorts? The albino squirrel. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. We're gonna do the squirrel got my shorts. The squirrel got my shorts. The squirrel got my shorts. Uh -huh. The squirrel got my shorts. The squirrel got my shorts. Where's the jokes? Squirrel. That was unintentional. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is, uh, this is looking good. You're doing a good job on the lawn. Oh, thanks, Dad. Yeah. Uh, you know, have you seen any of the, uh, you know, any little creatures running around recently? They seem to be a bit feisty this year. Yeah, there were some, uh, there were some finches, and there were some squirrels, yeah. and, uh... Yeah? Hey, Dad, the weed whacker's broken. Yeah, and... Jeez! <laughs> oh, yeah, I ran into some trouble. Yeah! <laughs> oh, God! Can, don't, don't look. Don't look, son. Jeez, come on. Hey, see, just because I tried to kiss a weed whacker doesn't mean you can't love me. <laughs> look, look, I, it's not about you kissing the weed whacker, son. It's oh, more I, about the low the belt issue. So, oh my God. <laughs> I know, I got, I have no knees. <laughs> Did you get those we, we too? Got you, we got you the prosthetics, it's fine. Yeah, they're working great, Dad. But, I mean, you've got a, you've got what some, some people would, in a dumb way, call a wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> got a bit of a problem. Oh! Sorry. Yeah. Didn't realize my fly was down. Uh, is there even a fly anymore? <laughs> How can one have a fly when one half no pants? <laughs> I believe Shakespeare I, I, said that. I, I, yeah. you know, it's, it's really, it. I just really like to work in the yard in no pants. I, I was under the impression that you really enjoyed wearing, I mean, uh, not pants, you never wear pants. You never wear like, yeah. Smaller stuff, but I mean. <laughs> I really like, I like shorts. They're comfy and easy to wear. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, look, I mean, shorts are fantastic, but. Uh, I like wearing things on my legs, but today I do not have them. <laughs> Slow down, he must be delirious from the attack. So, I mean, the type of thing. I got attacked by a bear and I lost my pants. <laughs> Oh, that's weird. It's just, that's what came out to 
me and then my shorts were gone. And I don't know what happened. I mean, let's, then, let's not use the word that. Let's use uh, who now possesses the shorts. That squirrel has my shorts. There's, that squirrel came out to me and now he has my shorts. Uh, but, uh, it's not that squirrel. It's uh, and now it has my shorts. <laughs> Did that squirrel take something in a past tense, perhaps? <laughs> that squirrel took my jewels. Um, that squirrel came out to me and it took oh, my no, jewels. No, 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 no. It was definitely much better. It was much better. I need you to say it because this is disgusting. And saying it will just make it okay. A squirrel came up to me. A squirrel came up to me. Uh, the squirrel. Yeah. The squirrel came up to me. I mean, it didn't really come up to you. The squirrel happen. came up. No. The squirrel happened. Uh, it just, like, <laughs> it, <laughs> like, so in the present tense, the squirrel takes something, but in the past tense, what did it do? <laughs> the squirrel came up to no. me. No. <laughs> And the third scene is going to be the first time that something happened. And whenever I switch between them, they have to justify their actions in one scene and then justify them in the new one. So uh, I need a non geographic location. Oil rig. Oil rig. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, so uh, another location. Airplane. Airplane. Cemetery. Cemetery. Oil rig. This is dark. to their parents? Just dump it in with 
Is that not sanitary? No, or respectful. Here. I've never seen skin that color before. <laughs> Snowfall. The fire's going out. What are we gonna do? It's an awful breeze. We might have to... We're not gonna have to eat each other, are we? <laughs> good, good. No, I don't think, think so either. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I was thinking it though, so... Wait, what? Oil ring. <laughs> it smells kind of nice, doesn't it? It does. That's Cemetery. <laughs> now these are the kind of flowers that we want to be leaving, okay? Do you want the watch, or can I... No, you... <laughs> <laughs> I found a ring! Okay, you're gonna... What the... Put that back! Snowfall! Oh my god, it's just... It's like... It's like water, but it's like solid! <laughs> <laughs> and just rub it under your skin, it's a great exfoliant. Oh, oh I actually ate it too. <laughs> Part of just the processing process. Don't worry about it. Cemetery. Oh my god! Okay, no, 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 you're fired, and you are also fired. I have never seen anything quite this- Just bury me here then! Sure. <laughs> Oh, so 
wonderful. Uh, this game is Crime Scene. We have two improvised members over there who will be acting out the crime of our eyewitness, who will report the crime. And then we'll also hear the actual crime report from the cops. So can we have a suggestion for our crime? Richard Simmons died. Doesn't work. As an action, be a real crime. Anything that you would think would be a crime. Candy from a baby. 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 Stressful afternoon for you, of course, but uh, if we could uh, just go ahead and have your details, your your side of the story. Yes, yes, it was it was awful to watch. Well, so I was at the park, minding my own business, sitting down on the park bench. It was wonderful, and then I saw my two roommates, uh, Brandon and Spencer, uh, also just hanging out in the park. I believe they were just skipping. They tend to do that on Sunday afternoons. <laughs> Casually skip in the park. And um, one of my dear friends, you know, she was also riding with her, her stroller. Her child was in the front, little baby Joseph. That's the cutest thing I could think of. And so uh, they stopped their skipping once they saw the baby. <laughs> and that's when they noticed the candy. And so as they were licking their lips, <laughs> part they would take, where, how they were going to attack this. They were even in an athletic stance, getting ready to take the baby. And Brandon had a screwdriver on him. I don't know why. And Spencer had an axe. They were just
Mom? Yes, honey? When you said I could paint my room with any medium that I liked, was, was real food the, the appropriate choice? Oh my god! Did you just smush grapes all over the walls? Yeah, and the turkey sandwich that I didn't eat, and the <laughs> Oreos I didn't eat, <laughs> and my poop. <laughs> seems to be a miss. I don't know if I like the chartreuse or the lavender better. Oh. Mm. A classic dilemma, my lady. I think that you should do whatever you feel. For that is what I do when faced with any colored face dilemma. I would feel them both. Well, why don't you just put them together? <laughs> All right, here's where my red paint goes. Here's where my blue paint goes. Red? Red, blue. All right. I'm working on my new masterpiece. It's called uh, Very Clearly Divided Squares of Different Colors. <laughs> Interesting. And tell me, how does this, uh, what does this say about society? Well, it says the. No. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness gracious, I haven't seen one of these in months. There's a peacock out there. <laughs> yeah. oh. take, take a look. Ah! It's so beautiful. And look at its plumage. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> How much longer? Can't be changing here. Good question, Mr. Bond. <laughs> Why, yes. Sorry. A bit of water. I see the torture has been working. You're regressing to an American accent, you swine. <laughs> now, unless your government responds to my demands, I will be forced to show my hand. <laughs> Just do it. Taking everything from me. Everything? Really? <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> I gave him the the <laughs> the cloak for free, because you know he couldn't afford to pay the five hundred dollars. But you know what color he called it? It was an indigo cloak. <laughs> he called it purple! <laughs> what a plebeian! <laughs> News Weekly. My lady was seen the other fortnight wearing chartreuse. <laughs> Let it be known through all the. Uh, this 
stands for replace a letter, please call me. Yeah. Um, so uh, these two other people are going to do a scene. Uh, however, when they talk, one letter will be replaced with another letter. So, what letter shall we be replacing? D. 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 I think it was an E. E. Yes. All right. Oh, we're replacing E. All right. Okay. What are we replacing E J. with? J. Oh, we're replacing E with J. And can I get uh, a, a word of suggestion for these crap? Oh, 
I mean, I'm not just trying to run a submarine. We're just on recon duty, and now we're bright yellow. <laughs> what am I? I don't even have forms for this. What are the forms actually for? Uh, uh, request for more little packets of saltines for the trip. <laughs> uh, the forms are everybody's tax returns. <laughs> 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 Justify what that evil twin did. So, uh, can I get a um, yeah, non geographic location? Did someone say castle? Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, my God, yes. <laughs> All right. Suggestion is castle. Yes. <laughs> See this. Squire. <laughs> Yes, my liege. And this results come in from the most recent jousting bout. Ah, uh, yes, I have the results right here. You lost every single match, and everyone hates you. But you did it most gallantly, and the king has taken notice, and he wants you to marry one of his daughters. Well, that's rather nice. Too bad I'm gay. <laughs> King has sons too, so that'll be fine. Oh, party on! <laughs> um, I shined your armor. Would you like to try it on? Oh, absolutely, Squire. After you shine it again, <laughs> and my swords and the saddle pads. I'll shine it with poison ivy oil. <laughs> oh, thank you, Squire. Because you know I've been building up an immunity. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, and it's super shiny. Oh, I'm absolutely. I'm sure the king's son will love it. Oh, yes, yes. Big Henry. <laughs> <laughs> the king's son. Big Henry. <laughs> <laughs> Squire, if you could help me with the 
the back panel, I would be most oh, grateful. Sure. I would very much appreciate it. Shit! Oh! <coughs> 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 <laughs> <laughs> little spit shine in there, you've been uh, putting a lot of muscle mass, so I had to bring it out for you. Oh, uh, I have been drinking that milk. <laughs> the one that says for muscles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you look my. most, you look most gentlemanly. Why, thank you. There's a scuff on my boots. <laughs> what? I know, we'll get it out. Oh! 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 And just like that, it burned away. That's incredible. And my athlete switch is also gone. Thank you so much, Squire. I am eternally grateful for your servitude in this matter and other. Fetch this arrow. <laughs> Because attached to it is a note to the king's son, McHenry, and I would ask that you deliver it to him with all my love. <laughs> Squire, help me, I can't stop. <laughs> Squire, you increased the armor too well, I can't. <laughs> Squire, my internal inertia is just very <laughs> because it wasn't good enough. <laughs> you, they, because, because a lesser lord, I'm sure, wrote it. I didn't even know you could read. <laughs> I learned Thank one you. day. For me. For you. Squire. Well, I just, And here's your arrow. Oh. <laughs> See, great armor, am I right? My Did god, my palate is poisoned with the ID. You should slay your enemies with it. They will be slightly uncomfortable before dying horribly. <laughs> Sounds 
progressive enough to work. <laughs> Thank you. Bison. Oh, God. We better call 
A ranger to help us. Something to remember him by. This would be such a help. Our love could be rekindled. <laughs> Observe. So how is it? Bison burgers, the best. Yes, yes, I knew it was worth going out to get those things. I'm telling you, this supposed to be really good for you too. I saw them in the Atkins diet on the cover. Did you, did you, did, did you hunt this yourself? Yeah, no, I went out with a couple guys like two weeks ago. We shot a bison. <laughs> That's really impressive. Yeah, it was pretty hardcore. Uh, no big deal. But uh, if you don't believe me, you should talk to one of my friends. <laughs> well, as a professional hand model, <laughs> I was able to just dazzle it. You know why shooting gloves? It was essentially unconscious by the time he was done, so super easy for us. I, uh, I distracted it with my uh, with my digits and their beauty. Check out the cuticles. Just strangled it. <laughs> There's like ten feet of snow out there. Where did this all come from? Well, I think uh, I can't see out the windows, Gerald. Uh, I think we're just staying here for a while. I mean, well, I mean, it's a good thing I can call my best friend. That's me, the mortician. <laughs> General, we need you to drive out right now for the afternoon. You, I need you to promise me that you'll ID our bodies. Yes, do me perfectly. Ooh, those are spicy. I know. Ah, oh, oh, I can feel it in my eyes. Oh. Why'd you touch your eyes? That's blue. Oh, I did it again. Oh my god. <laughs> Here, have some water. That's like rule number one. That's like rule number one of hot sauce. No, I didn't know. Fuck. I put some milk in your eyes and I don't know. <laughs> God, if only I had a friend that could help us with this. Uh, it's me, the graduate student who is probably not going to graduate. <laughs> yeah, was, I've been up for seventy-seven. Wait, isn't your thesis on hot sauce, German, and eyes? Yeah, yeah, um, here. <laughs> Wait, so you're telling me buffalo, 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 buffalo? This language sucks. <laughs> if you see the clarity of words, you will truly appreciate the language. One word can mean so many things. <laughs> Stay awake. What? <laughs> Look, yeah, I can't Please, study for this stuff on my own, man. I need someone to help me out. A uh, murderous postal worker. <laughs> if he doesn't learn the English language, kill him. <laughs> oh, are you gonna be here like, even if it sleeps or something? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you think he's so great just walking down on turf? You think you can just, oh, I'm gonna take this guy's turf and my turf, you can't have it? Well, uh, one of us has got the deed to this hair turf. Dang! And it's too bad neither of us can read. Oh, yeah? I bet I can find someone that can read with this rope. <laughs> did you call an old cat lady who's slowly turning her into a cat herself? <laughs> I can't. I bet she can read for a short period of time before she turns into a cat. Oh god, I'm looking so so many points, this is fantasy 
across the season. Those suck. <laughs> <laughs> you want to listen to my advice at the beginning of the season? What do you know about I sport? I wrote a handbook. All right, that's literally just a book shaped like a hand. <laughs> <laughs> but I have three volumes. Oh, all right, well, I'm a little intimidated now. <laughs> well, all right, but I got a friend who actually coached football back in high school, so... I'm Batman. <laughs> Spencer, David, and I'm Brandon. Have a good night.